What is up Android fans, it's Eric from Mobile back again today with another ROM review. Really quick guys, I want to apologize for not getting a video up in a while. Uh, I have been down hard uh, with the flu for going on four or five days now, but uh, I'm finally getting on the tail end of it, getting past it. So I wanted to get another ROM review up for you guys, so here we go again. Uh, as you probably saw from the title, um, this is a review on the Liquid Smooth ROM for the G3. And um, I'm pretty excited for this ROM. Let me tell you why, guys. First of all, there has been a multitude of Lollipop ROMs that have recently come out for the G3. Uh, they're coming in like a landslide. There's probably anywhere between 9 and 10, maybe a dozen Lollipop ROMs available out there right now. And I chose Liquid Smooth because this is the first ROM that has really taken the customization uh, to the next level. And what I mean by that is a lot of the first Lollipop ROMs uh, that were available for the G3, uh, the G3 were just about getting Lollipop working on the phone. So they were real bare bones, completely stock uh, Google ROM, um, no extra frills added. Um, but we're finally to the point where we know Lollipop works on the phone and the developers have had time to work on extra features and uh, customizations in the ROMs. So uh, here we go. Liquid Smooth was probably uh, one of the first ROMs that I've seen that have added uh, you know, a good level of customization into the ROM to really allow users to make the phone their own. So that's why I wanted to do it on this ROM. Um, there are, like I said, a lot of other Lollipop ROMs out, so I'll be re doing reviews soon on some of those other ROMs, um, but this today is all about Liquid Smooth. Really quick, I want to go over what's been fixed since the last Lollipop video that I did. If you remember, if you've seen, I'll link it in the description, my uh, first video when Lollipop came out on the phone. Um, you no longer have to jump through any hoops to get the data working on a reboot. Before, if you rebooted the phone, you would lose data and you had to um, do a special uh, command to get it working again. That's no longer the case. You can reboot your phone, your data will come right back on its own and it will work perfectly. So really good that that's fixed. Also, the location icon doesn't show up here in the status bar continually. So before, when you reboot your phone, the location icon would appear and it would never go away. So a lot of people thought that the GPS was constantly locating them, trying to um, figure out exactly where they were, and it was they thought it was draining their battery, all this stuff. That's no longer the case. Location icon doesn't show there all the time, which is good. Another thing is before, um, in a lot of the Lollipop ROMs, the video recording wasn't working in the camera. That does work now. Um, I'm not going to get in and show you, just, um, you know, it does work. So you can now record video through the camera. You can get in your gallery, look at it, everything's fine. So that's pretty much it. Um, Bluetooth does work, but you know Bluetooth calling can be spotty for a lot of people. That's just a problem across the board with all Lollipop ROMs. Nothing specific to Liquid Smooth. Um, that's been around is probably going to stay around for a while until somebody figures out how to fix it. But anyway, let's get into what makes this ROM so great, guys, and the reason I wanted to review this one today, and that is the um, customizations available. So first of all, you're going to notice right off the bat. Um, and, and really quick, sorry, right before that, as far as performance and stability and battery life goes with this ROM, I want to talk about those really quick. It's all, it's all perfect. It's rock solid, um, like you'd expect with other Lollipop ROMs. The battery's um, a great performer, lasts all day for me, no problem. I'm a mid-level user, not, not necessarily a power user, but I'm not light uh, during the day typically either. So battery life is good. Performance uh, is rock solid as well. It's obviously, you know, really fast. Lollipop to me has always worked better than the stock LG um, based, you know, ROMs. So performance is lightning fast. And stability has been great as well. No random reboots, no freezes, no holdups. Um, so check, check, and check. All that stuff works really well. I don't think you guys are going to be disappointed. Now, let's jump into the customizations. And you're going to notice right off the bat when you get into the settings that this is uh, had a dark theme. Now, I'm not typically a fan, a big fan of when um, guys want the dark themes and the settings and then all the apps and stuff. Um, but coming from stock LG where everything's really light themed and Lollipop, obviously everything is really white 
and um, you know, in your face. I actually am digging the dark theme uh, in the settings here for the phone. Now, not everything is dark themed. All your apps are still gonna be the regular theme, like all the Google apps. Um, some of the pop-up menus come up dark, and I'll, I'll show you that as we're going through. But um, as far as the settings go, I'm liking the dark theme. I think it's cool, and it's something that's not available in a lot of other ROMs, so I'll take it. Now, the settings look pretty standard. You got all the normal stuff here. Down at the bottom, he's included um, the developer options, Developer options are um, are there automatically. You don't have to go in and enable them. And as well as the super user, um, you can go through and that's a, an icon that he's added there. But um, if you come back up, as far as customizations go, first of all, you got this liquid smooth settings. Um, we'll jump into that in a second, but there's also some here hidden under the display settings. If you get into that, you can disable immersive modes so that when you get into apps and stuff, your navigation and status bars don't disappear. They stay where they are. Um, you can also mess with the height of the navigation bar. So that's the bar down here. So if you jump into an app, the status bar has a predetermined height. You can go in and mess with how tall the status bar is. Um, I like to leave it stock just because just that's my preference. But anyway, um, also under here that you can calibrate the colors of the screen. So you can come in here and mess with the red, blue, and green scale and the you know the, op the opacity of the, the screen. That's pretty cool. Um, double tap to wake, so that's in the stock LG ROMs. Um, you can do that, um, it does work. You can do it just from anywhere on the screen. Uh, luckily that does work now, but to get the phone to go to sleep, you have to do it in the status bar. You can't do it anywhere on the screen, like in a stock um, LG ROM, which to me isn't a big deal, um, but anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, they've got the brightness settings, sleep settings, all that stuff. Um, also, um, I almost forgot to mention, they have this lift to wake and the ambient display. So if your screen is off and it's just sitting on the table and you pick your phone up, if you have lift to wake enabled, your screen will turn on when you pick your phone up. Um, also ambient display as uh, your screen and the device will wake up whenever you have notifications, kind of like active display in other uh, phones. Um, so you can enable and disable those and um, you know, that's pretty much it for the display settings But there are a few things added in there um, That you don't typically get now jumping into the good stuff in the liquid smooth settings right here um, Here's a lot of the stuff that's been added. So first off the bat you've got uh, equalizer then interface status bar and advanced so under the equalizer um Baked into this ROM is the Viper 4 Android audio mod, and basically what this is, is it boosts the audio performance of the phone. Um, when you very first get into your audio settings, I've already done it once, but it'll come up and prompt you to download the drivers and everything for Viper 4 Android, and you have to you know, accept that you know what you're doing, blah, blah, blah. But once it's downloaded, you can come in, enable it, mess with the equalizer, do all the fun audio stuff that you want to do. That's a pretty cool addition because um, in stock AOSP-based ROMs, um, the audio can be pretty uh, diminished, uh, I feel anyways, and it's, a lot of it's been commented on on the XDA developer website. Um, audio just doesn't sound quite as good on the on the Google-based ROMs as far um, as how loud it is and how rich it can be. So it's nice to see this built in to kind of counteract that. Uh, under the interface, you get the LCD density. So basically that's your DPI settings. So you can make everything shrunken down, look more like a tablet, or you can blow it and make it real big if you don't have great eyes. That's good to see. And you can choose to show the search bar and the recents. So when you pull up the recents, um, you know, you got the search bar up top, whatever. Um, the status bar, um, under, under here you can go to your quick settings and this is where you're going to be able to do the quick pull down option. So right now when you pull down the status bar it's always going to show your notifications and then you got to pull it down again to get the um, quick settings. But if you do the quick pull down you can do it either on the right or the left side. So now when you pull down with one swipe it'll pull down the quick settings. So um, you know that's pretty good. Like I said you can do left and right. And you can also do smart pull down. So you can do different settings, but basically what it means is if you have any notifications in your status bar, it'll automatically, no matter where you pull down, um, show just your notifications. If you don't have any notifications pending though, and you pulled it, pull it down, it will pull down directly into your uh, quick setting. So it's just a little smarter way of handling um, how that's done. And I guess that's why it's car called the smart pull down. But um, there's also brightness controls, double tap to sleep, which is what I showed you, tapping on the status bar will sleep the phone. 
um, notification tickers where when you get notifications, it'll show you know the uh, information in the status bar. Lollipop took that away, but they've had an option where you can get that back. Showing the weather, so I've got that enabled right now. Um, I actually turned it off, and never mind. So um, I don't have that enabled right now, so it just says null. But um, you can choose to show the weather. It's ticked on right there, but in my um, in my account settings, I have weather turned off. So if I had that on, uh, you would see the weather and location information right there. Um, show notification count. So if you have multiple emails up here on the icon, it would say like a three over the email icon is, and also with text messages and other stuff like that. Um, notification trap or network traffic and all that stuff. Clock and date. So you can choose to um, change your clock alignment from the right over to the middle or the left. You can add in a, an AM PM icon or the day of the week, stuff like that. Um, and also you can show the battery percentage. I have it turned on right now. So typically it'll be hidden. So you just have your battery icon like that, but you can go ahead and enable it um, either inside the icon or next to the icon. I like it next to the icon and there it is right there, 99%. And then lastly, we have the advanced settings, and this is just an ad blocker. I really like that this is here because um, I like to block ads. I know it's it's how people make money, and I'm not out to slide anyone, but I really, really hate ads in my apps, so I always install a third-party ad blocker. So it was nice to see it included in the phone. So when you have everything installed on your phone that you wanna use, you can come in here and tap the ad blocker and it'll go through, update all your partitions and ad files or whatever, and then you'll reboot and you won't have ads in any of your applications. And I think that's awesome. So guys, that's pretty much it for this phone, or for this uh, ROM. Um, like I said, there's a lot of Lollipop ROMs out right now, but uh, there's very few that have really taken the customization to the next level, and this is one of the first ones. So if you're definitely looking to have the stock Lollipop feel, but be able to change things to your liking, then I would definitely recommend Liquid Smooth. Like I said, it's a rock solid performer. It's fast like you'd expect with Lollipop, but um, there is a level of customization. So if you guys like the video, please subscribe to my channel, uh, give it a thumbs up, I appreciate you guys uh, checking these videos out. Um, I'm going to try to get some more videos out this coming week uh, with Christmas coming up and stuff. I don't know how many I'm going to get out, but since I was sick, I do want to get some more videos out for you guys since it's been a while. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you coming to the channel, checking out the video, and we'll see you guys on the next one.